Welcome back to shelf one, week two of my model horse collection. Uh, we're going to pick up where we left off here with the Balking Mule. This Balking Mule is one of the Black Horse Ranch special runs that Karen Grimm did. She did, I think, 300 each of four or five different colors. I had them all, but since I enjoy variety, I have narrowed it down to just one. Next we have, I think this is called Illuminati, the running stallion in the Halloween. He is really cool, but his battery is dead. But if you push the button, those pumpkins light up and he glows from within. He is awesome. I love their Halloween horses. This is the running stallion as a unicorn. If you ever come across one in the wild, look for the little beard there. Um, that'll tell you if it's an original alabaster with a horn broken off or a unicorn. The unicorn is from my original carpet herd from when I was a kid. He's one of my original horses. This guy is really cool. He's one of Briar's Clearware. Um, he was from last Christmas. He is called St. Maurice from 2017. And they did a beautiful job with the combination of the colors and the clear and uh, the purples and the blues. I think he's really pretty. This is, oh gosh, I'm terrible. Um, oh good, it says on the bottom. He is from the Altec FEI World Equestrian Games in Kentucky in 2010. He was a special run. Next we have the Flash Mold in the Glossy Gruya. He was a Briarfest surprise model from a couple of years ago. Let's see if he has anything on him. He might. He um, is from 2012 Briarfest. They did four different colors, I think, and then they split them between glossy and matte. I love this mold, and I think he looks really cute in that Gruya. And then next is, I think his name's Starlight. He's just a regular run, but I think he's the cutest color and the cutest mold, so I had to have him. And then one more flash in the Decorator Dapple Green. He was from Christmas a couple of years ago. And it says happy holidays but i can't tell in the green what year that was he was made in red and green for the christmas holidays next we have the missouri foxtrotter as a volunteer um, horse from 2010 and i volunteer with briarfest every year teaching um, jewelry making and ornament making classes so he's one of the horses that i got for being a volunteer next we have the solid gold decorator from just about horses missouri foxtrotter Next we have a base coat chalky classic or quarter horse gelding. He is from the Karen Grimm collection. I bought him last year from the horse you want room. Then we have a glossy bay quarter horse yearling, one of the original colors. He's really pretty in that color. I found him at an antique store down in LA on my way to Briarfest many years ago on my way to the airport. Then we have a flocky, that's why he's in a bag, because I don't want to have to dust him because of that flocking. The Proud Arab Stallion, he was a special run from Sears or J.C. Penney's back in the 80s. Then we have Dune, I think he was a limited edition from a couple of, long time ago now. He was a gift from a friend. Um, and then we have the Black Point Dapple Gray Proud Arab Stallion. And uh, when I get down off the ladder on the Proud Arab mares or foals, I'll show you the difference between them. Then we have, and I don't know how to pronounce him, Begnay. He was a special run from the Briar, uh, New Jersey event a couple of years ago. They only made eight of him, and he is really pretty. They did a beautiful job with him, <laughs> with the dapple and the gloss, and he's just gorgeous. And I was lucky enough to buy him. I was. I was eighth in line or whatever. I was the last person to get one of them. And then we have a base coat chalky dapple gray proud Arab stallion. Found him in an antique store, I think on my way to Briarfest, driving there one year at an antique store. And um, so I'm going to readjust, get down off the ladder, and we'll finish up this shelf next week. Thank you. Bye.